Okay, um, this is a, a short video on how to log into our Moodle website. Um, the method is called uh, self-registration via email. So uh, the link is self.com.gr. And when you get here, you click on login. And because you haven't got a username or email, uh, you really need to create a new account. So this is the new account for our website. You create, you put in all your details, make sure you have, you create a username that's all lowercase. For example, if I was to use my own username, I might put in Marisa C, one word, without dashes or anything else. Um, and create my password, which must have at least eight characters, a higher uh, uppercase uh, letter, a lowercase letter, and, and a special, at least one special character, such as the dash or the hashtag or the asterisk. Um, then you put in your email address, you repeat it, your first, last name, where you're from, for the time and your country, and you click on um, select a robot. So uh, once we receive this registration, what happens? The system will then send you an email with all this information and you will need to confirm. You must click on confirm. Let me just share a screenshot from another website briefly for you to see. Helpful hint, if someone doesn't receive the email despite Helpful hint, on to confirm they want access to your site. They'll receive an email which they must click on to confirm they want access to your site. Helpful hint, if someone doesn't receive the email despite everything working correctly, you can manually confirm their new account from the Browse List of Users page by clicking Confirm. To summarize, mindful of security considerations, you can allow people to create accounts on your Moodle site by enabling 